it does lead on nicely to the the cloud function. So, Romain, do you want to talk briefly more about this? Um, yes. Uh, so, I thought it was important to mention cloud functions uh, because we were uh, speaking about uh, the uh, next event, and during uh, next, they also announced the uh, beta release of cloud functions, meaning that uh, we already knew that uh, cloud function were uh, 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 were being released, uh, but uh, now it's in beta, so it means that everybody can start using them. And uh, it's interesting because uh, it's um, the uh, first uh, time the uh, cloud platform is um, uh, is coming so near to App Script, uh, meaning that uh, as App Script, it's very, very easy uh, to uh, deploy your code uh, on Google Cloud. Um, you, you need to use JavaScript on server side, uh, like App Script. Um, it uses uh, Node.js, so it's a bit different than App Script, uh, but it's mostly because uh, App Script was there, I think, before Node.js. And uh, uh, if App Script had been invented later on, I suppose it would run on Node.js as well. Uh, and so, well, uh, it, it means that uh, it will be interesting to, to see the uh, future of both, uh, because uh, maybe at some point they will uh, do more integration or share uh, more internal stuff uh, between uh, uh, cloud functions and app scripts uh, because at this moment it means that yes you have uh, two services um, in the uh, Google Cloud platform uh, to write um, uh, easily uh, JavaScript uh, little functions um, um, on server side and uh, uh, that's App Script and Cloud Functions. Um, for App Script developers, I think it's interesting to uh, know Cloud Functions because uh, if they are afraid to use uh, other more uh, complex stuff uh, than App Script, um, well, uh, moving or uh, starting to use Cloud Function in addition to App Script is uh, quite easy. It's still JavaScript. Uh, you are uh, still uh, doing that in the Google environment, uh, and it's very easy to deploy. Uh, but it's infinitely more scalable, uh, meaning that if you are um, struggling uh, with some uh, intensive uh, task uh, with App Script, um, maybe it would make sense uh, to port your code or part of your code uh, to Cloud Functions. Um, I know that uh, Bruce uh, mentioned uh, a while ago that uh, maybe it was time to update the uh, URL fetch quota uh, in App Script. Uh, and I agree with him, uh, but they haven't done so, at least yet. Uh, and so in that case, if you uh, need to do a lot of uh, URL fetch uh, calls uh, with your uh, with your app, maybe it makes sense to uh, move that part of your code to cloud functions. Bruce, uh, was there anything you wanted to add to that? No, I, I would agree with uh, everything that Romain just said. I think it's a great uh, opportunity for again the professionalization of what we were talking about earlier. Cloud functions have been around for um, a long time with other providers, Parse.com notably. Um, if you remember, they were around when, when the script DB went away, and then we were encouraged to use parse.com as an alternative. Um, it's gone away itself now, but it didn't reduce uh, Cloud Functions as part of part of its environment. And of course, Firebase has got them as well. Um, I always get a bit confused about Firebase and, and Google Cloud because they kind of seem to be the same thing, except called something different sometimes. So I'm not, I haven't quite got my mind around um, if they're going to be the same thing, or if they're, you know, if if one is behind the other, or uh, as in the case of, um, you know, cloud storage, for example, is really just cloud storage, although it's Firebase storage as well sometimes. So you know, I'm I'm a little bit confused as to that kind of.
differentiation maybe other people know but in any case it's the same thing you've got some cloud functions that you can subcontract your local processing to which is which is which is going to be great um, i don't know how it's going to work in terms of uh, charging one assumes that you this is a billable thing is it roman you would know uh yes uh, yeah. so there's a huge free quota um more than um I don't know, 2 million requests per uh, day or month. I, I don't remember. Uh, okay. But uh, you have a, a huge quota, uh, a huge free quota. And yeah. uh, it's also uh, uh, quite cheap to, to use uh, intensively. Um, I, 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 well, the competition is already there, uh, mainly uh, Amazon Lambda. And yeah. uh, I, I suppose uh, Google wanted to... Uh, uh, invest the market and they, yeah, for for cheap. Um, about the uh, um, cloud function and Firebase function, it's uh, it's funny because uh, so uh, during before the uh, launch of uh, Firebase uh, of cloud function for Firebase, uh, uh, Firebase uh, was talking about Firebase functions, and in fact they decided. Uh, not to go live with this name, so uh, you will not see Firebase functions, uh, but you will see uh, cloud functions for Firebase. Uh, I suppose there's a small battle between the uh, cloud and the Firebase team. Uh, it's my product, no, it's my product. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but uh, yeah, so now it's... Uh, mm, more clear than uh, that uh, uh, it's only an integration uh, between uh, Firebase and Cloud Function uh, so that uh, your uh, uh, real-time database, for example, uh, can automatically, automatically trigger uh, Firebase func uh, Cloud Function um, without uh, any work on your side. So I think I think this is uh, this is interesting because you know many times people have said, hey, why can't I get more more uh, time on AppScript um, if I pay for it? That's been always been a question since the beginning. Um, why can't I get more quota if I'm willing to pay for it? Well, I think the answer is is here now. I think you you're not going to need you're not going to need much more time on AppScript if you can delegate a lot of the work you do to cloud functions, right? Uh, in a way, but uh, cloud functions are uh, only uh, meant for uh, a lot of small tasks. So yeah. you won't be able to you uh, to make a very uh, long running task uh, on cloud functions. But uh, you can start uh, thousands of uh, um, um, of little uh, little tasks. Uh, yeah, absolutely. In, in cloud yeah, functions. Yeah, and they're going to run probably a bit faster as well. So I, th I think the opportunity for delegation, parallel delegation, in fact, is going to get do away with some of the need that people feel they have for long run yeah. sort of stuff. And uh, one of the uh, nice advantages of cloud functions over um, AppScript is that uh, in AppScript, when you are doing uh, URL fetch uh, calls. Uh, those are uh, synchron calls, uh, so uh, the rest of your code will uh, stop until uh, you are fetch uh, receive an answer, and it's uh, not the case in cloud functions where uh, it's totally asynchronous, uh, and so uh, you can start uh, different tasks and uh, uh, use uh, premises uh, like you can on uh, the client side. One of the questions we got from the YouTube chat is, uh, we've talked little functions here. How, how you know, what have we got any uh, details on how much code code can be a cloud function? Sorry, uh, what what's the limit to? We've, we've talked about a little function, uh, but um, how many lines of code approximately? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, it's not in terms of uh, lines of code. It, it's uh, simply a matter of uh, uh, the uh, time uh, Cloud Function can run. And I, I think it's uh, not more than app scripts. Uh, right. yeah. But uh, if you want to have a, a very 
big code uh, on cloud functions, you you can easily um, do that. It's yeah, you're so, not restricted in terms of lines of code. Yeah. So I I can imagine a whole uh, ecosystem of uh, useful functions that people will be writing and sharing in the way that we share libraries today. Uh, and if you if you already use Node, you'll know the npm yeah. uh, environment where you can find code to do almost anything uh, that it already exists. And that so suddenly that opens up in my mind all the things you can do on Node with functions people have written in npm uh, available to you as something you can do from app script. Um, obviously, it's going to need some synchronization and organization, but I think it's a tremendous uh, for many things that you wouldn't have been able to think of doing before on app script. Not just about the time it takes to execute and stuff, but the you know people have spent many hours writing very clever things that you don't have to write again. So I think that's that that's the key the key to it. And also, you if you use App Engine, you probably have noticed that nowadays you can run Node on App Engine as well. So you've got a kind of a You've got a, migra a migration path, if you like. If you start on AppScript, you can start to do a, a few things on Node. Um, as you start to like it, you can start to move your whole entire application to Node, and you can host it on App Engine. So I can see, you can see how all that stuff starts to fit together. Um, so something to underline that this is in beta now. So um, for people watching, you can. There's documentation on, on the website so you can get the details on the quotas and um, start looking at uh, the reference material for that.